this is going to be lesson number two. We're going to start calculating using the speed of light formula. This is page 36 entirely, and I'm going to start with example number one. So I'm going to cover up example number two, but this is on page 36. Now hopefully you have this problem written into your notebook and you have titled it Solving for Wavelengths, so later you can go back and remember what you were doing. Again, here is the formula, C equals lambda times nu, or speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. This problem is solving for wavelength. You don't always, you're not told usually what you're solving for, but setting things up in your notebook for review, we're going to do that. What is the wavelength of radiation with a frequency of 1.50 times 10 to the 13 hertz? I'm going to do what we did um, earlier for density, which is make a list of these variables or symbols, C, lambda, frequency, or nu. I'm going to then put the numbers in that I have given to me so I know what I'm solving for. We always have the speed of light, so I'm going to write that in, 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second says what is the wavelength what is the wavelength so I'm going to put a question mark there and we have the frequency which is the V or the nu 1.050 times 10 to the 13th and it says Hertz we can't use that uh, to solve so what we need to do this is how it's given but I can't use that I have to use this so how you rewrite that is this number right here, the 1.50 times 10 to the 13th, that is the cycles, there are that many cycles or waves that pass a given point per second. I'm going to cross this out just so I don't get confused. These two things are actually the same thing. I'm going to write my formula as it is or provided for me, and then I need to rearrange it like I did for density using a little bit of algebra. I'm looking for wavelength which is right here and it's multiplied by the frequency. So I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide. I will cancel out. And if I divide something on one side I have to divide it on the other. I'm going to quickly rearrange this formula. I'm going to reverse it so the thing I'm solving for is on the left. Wavelength is equal to speed of light divided by frequency. And this is the formula arrangement that I'm going to use to solve this problem. I'm going to rewrite that right here. I'm going to do my little equal sign and I'm going to start plugging in numbers. So the speed of light is on top, 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And on the bottom is my frequency, 1.50 times 10 to the 13th per second. Now if you notice we have two per seconds, so it means we have two fractions in reality. And if I'm dividing a fraction by a fraction, I can uh, multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to take the speed of light down here and do 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal of the frequency. S is on the bottom, so that means it goes on top. And the 1.50 times 10 to the 13th is on bottom. There's no unit here because it's the cycles. All right, this is going to be your number. If we take a look, this second is a numerator and this one is a denominator, therefore they cancel out. Now I have to use uh, my skills that I learned earlier on how to enter in numbers into scientific notation in the calculator. If you don't remember how to do that, go back in your notebook and follow those directions. I'm going to take 3.00 times 10 to the 8th and I'm going to divide it by 1.50 times 10 to the 
13th. We have to use our significant figures. I'm only going to pay attention to the coefficients. My calculator is going to give me just one number, 2, but because both of these have decimals, that means that both of those zeros count. So this number is three significant figures, and this one also has three significant figures. So I'm also going to report a coefficient with three significant figures. My calculator, sorry, calculator gave me 2.00 times 10 to the negative 5, and the only unit I have not canceled out is meters, so the unit becomes meters. And that is our answer to this question. What is the wavelength of radiation with a frequency of 1.50 times 10 to the 13 hertz?